What role does quality review play in EL? Quality review plays an important role in evaluating and improving experiential learning. Reviewing EL opportunities makes it possible to assess relevance, usefulness, and adherence to applicable outcomes, objectives, and standards. Because EL can happen at different levels at the institution, involves different stakeholders, and can include diverse experiences, it's important to consider how best to structure a quality review to gather useful input. Looking at existing approaches and structures that are focused on quality and improvement can be a great starting place to figure out at what levels a review should take place, when it should happen, and who should be involved in the process. Yeah, in pharmacy, we're very fortunate that we have um, the National Association of um, Pharmacy Regulatory Authorities, which actually sets uh, competencies and standards of practice for pharmacy techs. So pharmacy technician is a, um, a profession. It is a healthcare profession. We are regulated. We join about 25 other healthcare professions that are self-regulating. So we have competencies and standards that um, every course um, in college across Canada has to fulfill. So we're very lucky that we can build our program around these competencies and standards. And we have the Ontario College of Pharmacists. Um, we are all have to be members of there and they're excellent at providing um, up-to-date information and any changes, new drugs that are coming on the market, any Health Canada alerts, drugs being taken off the market. And there's always new things. There's um, there's initiatives by the government um, constantly trying to improve health care and it impacts pharmacy directly. So we try to stay abreast with all that. We're constantly getting um, updates and um, chronicles, monthly ones, weekly ones. And you, you have to stay abreast of all the changes because you want the students to be current. We have a very robust program advisory committee they are actively involved in uh, the, the building and the modification of what we do as a team. They are absolutely 100% our partners and they give us lots of great feedback and they hire our students. So they're not shy to say, we need to work a little bit on and when I get that feedback or we get that feedback, we work with our internship facilitators. We have an amazing faculty, associate dean, deans with our Center for Academic Excellence and try to move the process along. So taking that and being open to hearing what's not going so well. I think there's always two levels to it as well, right? If, uh, if it's a properly crafted experiential learning opportunity, then myself as a facilitator or a teacher is also going to be going through that same process of you know, uh, experiencing something, kind of reflecting and unpacking, how did that work? And then adjusting it and then, and then trying it out again in a way that, that fits the environment, that fits the people that you're working with. Um, so that's happening at the teacher and facilitator level as well. And then in a, in a very subtle way, that's, that's role modeling, I think, for the students as well, to be able to put to them and say, uh, to gain from that, that reflective portion, to be able to say, how did that work for you? What, what, what happened? What didn't happen? What, you know, what, what can we get from that? Um, if I, as a teacher or a facilitator, can then take that information and apply it to how the next class goes, the next program goes, then I think you're building a pretty tight, um, a pretty tight mechanism for, for experiential learning.